And Ohio State beats Michigan today in a decisive 42 to 13 win. We have team coverage of all the angles of the game for you. Jared Smalley, Audrey Hassan, and Mindy Dreyer are live in Ann Arbor tonight. And Dan Perlman is standing by live with fans here in Columbus. Let's get right to NBC4 Sports Director Jared Smalley with the highlights. Hey, Jared. Hey, good evening. Not even sure the most optimistic of Buckeye fans would have felt that strongly about Ohio State's chances today in Ann Arbor, considering the mess that Ohio State went through a week ago against Michigan State, the terribly disappointing loss the Buckeyes suffered there. But today in the game, Ohio State played its best game. It's the dawn of the new era in the rivalry. Jim Harbaugh making his Michigan debut as head coach against Ohio State and Urban Meyer. As the teams settle in, the second quarter, Buckeyes leading 7-3. Ezekiel Elliott takes it five yards, and it's 14-3 Buckeyes. But Michigan makes it interesting. At the end of the first half, Jehu Chesson catches a five-yard out from Jake Rudock, and it's a four-point game at halftime. But in the third quarter, Ohio State imposed its will on Michigan. Jalen Marshall caps a lengthy drive with a 25-yard catch from J.T. Barrett. It's 21-10 Buckeyes. And then perhaps... Ohio State's best drive of this entire season. Ezekiel Elliott and Barrett taking turns running downfield, and Barrett finishes the drive. Weaving 13 yards, Ohio State starts to assume command 28 to 10. The Buckeyes held the football for nearly 10 minutes of the third quarter. Quarter, the lead grows. Ezekiel Elliott again, this time from 10 yards. It's 35 13. And defensively, the Buckeyes became relentless. Joey Bosa. Teeing off on his former high school teammate, Jake Rudock, the quarterback from Michigan, had to be helped to the sideline. And Bosa was not finished there. An interception and a return for Bosa as he completes a thorough domination by the Buckeyes. 42-13, the final score. And after the disappointment of a week ago, the Buckeyes celebrate this one in grand style. From the bottom of my heart, I told those players that might have been the best one we've, I've ever seen. To come back from the kick in the stomach that we took a week ago, it was an awful week of practice. Uh, not, not awful as far as the way everybody felt. And uh, to come out and navigate a storm against an excellent team, and we have a lot of respect for uh, very good personnel, especially that defense, to come out and do that against them, that shows you uh, that's, this is one of the best group of kids I've ever been around. You can see that they were getting tired of the line. D-line wasn't rushing as hard when we dropped back to pass. and then. We, uh, Zeke and myself, we saw the creases and we was able to run too, knowing that they were more tired than we were. Everyone on the team, everyone wanted to get out here and dominate. We wanted to get out here and make up for for, for, for last weekend. And uh, I mean, we were just determined. I mean, and that on top of playing the team up north, you know, this big rivalry just was so much emotion. And uh, I think we handled it really well and we came out and executed. Ezekiel Elliott rushing for more than 200 yards on the day. We'll talk about his record-setting day more later on in sports. The Buckeyes as a team rushed for 369 yards. Michigan simply could not slow the Buckeyes down on the ground, and that's how Ohio State has beaten Michigan now for the 13th time in 15 tries. We'll go to Audrey Hassan now. She's also live here at Michigan Stadium with the Michigan side of things, and that includes the debut of Jim Harbaugh. Hi, Jared. Yes, I'm here outside of the stadium, and it was a tough loss today, of course, for Michigan players to Columbus natives, specifically Jake Butt and Taco Charlton. They were, of course, playing against former teammates Pat Elfline and Jacoby Bourne in today's game. But, you know, the Pickerington North graduate Jake Butt, who's one of Michigan's best on offense, only totaled 54 yards receiving against his hometown Buckeyes. Ohio State's defense held the Wolverines to only 69 total yards rushing all game, a dominant performance in which Coach Harbaugh and his offense found no answer. No, I think uh, going into this game, we knew they were good. I mean, there was no, there was no uh, hiding that. We knew they were a great team. They're, they're highly ranked in the con country for a reason. They're uh, national championships last year for a reason. They're going to come in well coached, and coming off a loss like they did last week, they knew, we knew that they were going to be hungry. But um, yeah, I mean, we there was no, uh, there was no mystery. And of course, Mindy Dreyer has been with us all day too. She's been getting fan reactions, and I think she's over there still chatting with people now. Mindy, yeah, she um, was outside of the stadium, just outside of the game. She talked with a lot get, of Michigan fans I and Buckeyes. Know, You're still talking with fans. I can't let I fans go. They are oh, exactly. amazing. They Blue or the Scarlet <laughs> and Gray. But what's so funny though earlier today, the fan base for the Wolverines 
really changed because this morning they were abrasive, they were yeah. very confident, they were loud, but as the game went on, boy, those emotions changed. In fact, we want to show you some footage from the game itself because toward the end of it, you saw their faces, you just saw their emotions start to realize that Buckeyes are going to beat those Wolverines again. Now, we had a chance to talk to some of those fans, both Ohio State and for that team up north right after the game. So here's what they had to say. Oh, it was awesome. Every Buckeye wins fun, but when you beat Michigan, it's always a little more fun. Um, I was expecting it to be a lot closer than it was, so I was pleasantly surprised. Awesome. What a great game. I go to Ohio State, and I love my Buckeyes. I grew up around here, but this is like my my thing. I love it. Was it love hard it. at first because you guys were surrounded by so much maize and blue? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we, we got yelled at a couple times for, oh, yelling yeah. for that touchdown. Yeah, but, I, but it was worth it. Oh, oh so worth it. Every damn So worth it. it. We found former Buckeyes. Buckeye Raymond Harris, what do you think of the box? I'm so excited. I love the Buckeyes. I love coming to the big house, like like taking care of business. <laughs> this is Michigan, Ohio State, but you got Wisconsin on. I'm from Wisconsin. So who were you rooting for today? I was rooting for Michigan. Oh. Unfortunately, they didn't do the job. Is this a hard loss for you guys? You know, it is, but this season was a, a freebie because next year starts the real deal. Anybody out there that wants to whine right now, hey. They did a way better this year than last year. They had a very good year. Okay. It doesn't bother me that they lost. Last time they'll beat us, remember that. We'll be back. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Thank you. He's laughing there, but he means it. A lot of those fans really believe that this program is at least moving in the right direction. And Ellie, something that happened inside the stadium was probably one of my favorite parts of the entire game is right toward the end of the game. And I think there was about 13 minutes left in the game or right under that. And the stadium started doing O-H-I-O, -O, the Buckeye fans that were there. And oh. that was neat to see, you know, Ellie, it's always nice to hear O-H-I-O, -O, especially when you can see it and hear it in that stadium <laughs> right there. Oh, that doesn't happen all that yes. often. Oh, I know. I, I know you enjoyed it for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> ladies, thanks so much. We'll see you later. Now, back here in Columbus, local Buckeye fans are now watching and waiting on the Penn State-Michigan State game. NBC4's Dan Probman <laughs> continues our team coverage tonight. He's live at Gresso's, and Dan, there must be some broken hearts there. Yeah, you know, as soon as the Ohio State game ended, our eyes turned to East Lansing, specifically our friends right here uh, from Penn State. That's why I came here to Gressos in the German Village. The Penn State Alumni Club comes here every week, so do Buckeye fans. The bottom line, if you like Ohio State, you are optimistic. If you are an Indy Lions fan, not so much. As a Penn State fan, I'll say it's been a rough year. For Penn State. Oh, I'm confident. I've been confident. Some other folks haven't been confident all day. I knew we were going to win today, and I knew we we're going. I know we we're going. I know Penn State's going to win. We've just had a tough time this year. I think it's just been a tough time for Penn State because we've gone through a lot of coaches. It's been a long road since Joe Pop. Hello. And now the game is over. That's why we have a lot of people down here. Right now, the bad news, unfortunately, Michigan State did pull it out. So now we just have to wait and see what's next for the Buckeyes. We are live in Columbus. Dan Perlman, NBC4. Dan, thank you. Back here in Columbus, shoppers.